Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ren. I'm back with another episode of Heavily Modded Skyrim. Um, I've got a lot of updates for this one. I know I said I'd make another video in a week. That didn't happen. Yeah, I'm sorry about it. I think I'll just stop promising you guys new videos all the time. I always get pretty upset when I say I'll do something and don't follow through. But a lot of updates for this week. I've actually uh, gone ahead and installed an EMB. I thought I had one active before and uh, somebody alerted me to it and in a previous video. And I was like, oh, I guess I never did install it. I only downloaded it before. So now I've got the EMB active. Um, it looks really, really nice. One side effect though is that my graphics card isn't top of the line, so I have a few stutters here and there, mostly when uh, loading the loading new scenes. Um, Sir, I, I have a... but as you can see, like the MV looks really nice. It actually makes the shadows look really good, and uh, it gives me control over how dark it is outside at night and during the daytime as well. If we can hold them there. Um, so I'm back here with Victoria, my uh, I don't even remember what I technically called her, but my restorative warrior, restorative spellblade, that might have been it. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be doing all war zones today. Like I always say, I'm a combat guy, so I really enjoy fighting more than anything. If you prefer, um, besides the EMB, I've installed this no. other mod called the uh, Dual Sheath Redux, Just which is uh, it's really guys. nice. If I dual wield weapons, um, it actually equals both of them at the same time on my on my character's uh, model. So like here, you might not be able to see it too well, but I've got my sword and my mace equipped uh, on the side because the mace normally sits on the right side instead of the left. But if I had that and like uh, a dagger, I'll give you that. the dagger, How long until they arrive? can't really see it. The dagger's on my back and the sword is still there as well. They're hiding in the countryside. It also uh, puts shields on your back, which is pretty nice too, so they don't yeah. occupy your hand What's all the time. For? So I've got Sir? my oven shield there. What? Sir. Um, I've also installed a mod called uh, Upgraded Weapons and Armor. Really, really nice mod. Um, what it does is it it gives your uh, it gives you a chance to find upgraded armor on enemies, which is very very realistic. You know, you're not the only smart person who decides to upgrade their armor. And also, it gives you a way to find like to to obtain upgraded armor that comes from custom mods, because that was pretty difficult. You know, I kind of hated that you had to be a blacksmith in order to get upgraded armor. But now uh, you have a chance of finding it randomly. And you can find up to legendary. Uh, of course, there's a lower chance of finding legendary armor than just the standard armor. So we're getting ready to do, uh, I think this is the Battle of White Run. We got, uh, I sided with the Imperials. So, it'll be us versus the Stormcloaks. If I remember correctly, they have, uh, catapults. I think they actually said that. I wasn't paying attention to the dialogue at all. Um, since last time I've leveled up a little bit, I took, uh, a fast healing spell because I really needed to upgrade my healing. You know, just regular healing was way too slow. Um, I got a, a few more block perks and, and one-handed perks. In particular, I got the perk that uh, that works with war axes, which is really nice. It's a fine day with you around. Uh, where did the general go? Is he behind me still? Whatever, I'll just head down to the gate. I think they might have just skipped down there. Um, but really quick, take a look at my shadow. It's it's uh definitely a lot smoother than before. It's not so fuzzy. You can see it really uh really well on the faces too. Like before, I used to have these really ugly shadows uh, on her hair. 
and also the lights look a lot better. We need to do something about these vampire attacks. So yes, I do lose a, a little bit of frames per second, but I'm okay with it. Uh, you guys can let me know if it's disturbing. I don't really notice it too much. Like I said, it, I usually notice it just when I'm, I'm loading a new scene. And after this uh, loads, I'll show you the block first. There's actually one that, that I really like. After you block an attack from... The attacker uh, suffers like... Uh, twenty five percent less damage, or they they deal twenty five percent less damage for like four seconds. So you you kind of had the the sense of you you're blocking actually making them tired, or you know the recoil being effective against them. I also got the block perk that uh that lets you power bash. I haven't really used it that much to be honest, because I don't like uh I don't like waiting for bashes like that. I wonder if they even activated the quest. This doesn't look like Battle of White Run at all. Maybe I, I have to actually go up there and say something. Oh you know what I should have looked at my journal. I do have to talk to somebody to start this uh this thing. Now that I think of it, let me go ahead and get my, uh, I want to turn my stopwatch on so I know how long I'm taking. Yeah, my load times are still crap. Uh, pretty soon I'll be deciding to uh, overclock my graphics card. I found somebody with a good configuration for it already um, and they claim that it's stable but I just want to double check for myself that it actually is stable and uh, once that's done I should get slightly better load times and hopefully the, uh, the stuttering will be gone while I'm using the EMB but the EMB is so nice, and I thought I would take a much worse per performance hit than I actually do. I've only lost about five, five frames per second on average. <laughs> that was random. Yeah, that was really random. All right, so I'll talk to the Yarl. You've returned with my axe. I knew that would be his response. As soon as you left, I sent word to General Tullius, who's been kind enough to lend us some of his troops and Legate Scipius here. Let Ulfric try to make it past our combined forces. I'll turn you back over to your legion. Legate Scipius will have use for you. Oh, and I'll actually explain that in just a second. That level up that seemed kind of random uh, now, if you don't is a result of this spell that I've got. Called uh, what is it called? Armored Ascension. Um, it's really, really neat. I'm sure, you guys can read it, but I'll just say it anyway. Um, all active, all nine hostile actors in a 20 feet, 20 foot radius deal 10% more melee damage. Take 10% less melee damage. Um, it reduces your magicka by 25 while it's active. So it's not free. Um, it is a toggle, toggleable buff for you and other non-hostile champs. That's why you see that little aura around them. Um, and while it's you active, I gain experience legend. from uh, from people being around me receiving the, One of the, the new servants? There's also a counterpart to it uh, that works for spells and, and arrows, so basically just range stuff. Uh, you take 10% less damage from spells and arrows. So it's pretty cool. Um, obviously we're about to be in a big like fight. There's also fast healing, uh, heals 70 points, pretty standard, that's in vanilla. Regrowth, I don't know if I had this last time, but anyway, it heals you over time. Oh yeah, you know, I, I did have it, I remember talking about it now. Uh, I've still just got oak flesh to supplement my, uh, my armor. And besides that, I think I've... I don't know if I had the shout last time, but I do now. 
Uh, anything else? Nope, that's it. Rare. The storm comes in here in force. All right, let's get this get party down to started. The line. This is it. We must hold the city. Now move it. All right. Like it, Rick is down flat line, I guess. I kind of want to save my level up for combat just in case. <laughs> I feel like because they designed it in there, it's still a valid thing to strategize around to actually save your level up for a time when you're in need, because it gives you that automatic kill. Alright, which is why I won't show you my perks just yet. I haven't really taken that many more. Besides the block perks, um, I've got... Apprentice Restoration uh, reduces the cost of Restoration spells. I took uh, I took the perk for War Axes, um, which increases bleeding damage for uh, for War Axes Another and for Short boat. Spears. And I actually found out the uh, the Short Spear perk this is, is really really good. Love. Love. Wow, this scene looks so dramatic, and it happens to be becoming nice nighttime. Time is at seven. Kind of wanted to start earlier, but this looks really nice cinematically. Like the shield, you you get that really nice glow off of it, especially when you're in light sources like this. It looks really really nice. <coughs> so I'm hoping this battle's good. I remember it being kind of long the last time I did it, but it's going to be drastically different because uh, because of War Zones. I think he modifies this battle to be uh, better or more intense with uh, with the influence of War Zones. So I, I, this is my first time playing it with War Zones active. So I'll see what he's done, if anything. Oh, and recently, I just remember bashing is incredibly good on this game. Uh, like bashing when you when you take out your shield and you hold lock and press the attack button. Like bashing has a really really good chance of staggering an attacker. I think it's almost guaranteed that you stagger an attacker when you bash. So that's that's really nice. Since it's dark, I might as well equip my travel lantern. So I can see a little bit. And of course you have all the archers. Oh no, I just used my power. And I shouldn't have. I'm gonna run out of stamina. That was a big mistake. Yeah, there's all my stamina. Uh, if, if you didn't tune in last time, that power that I used by mistake is uh, last stand. It gives me basically invulnerability for seven seconds. Um, but after the duration, I lose all of my stamina. So, and you fight a lot slower uh, with no stamina. Come here. Where are you going? Oh god. Yeah. And when I'm all out of stamina, I move really, really slow, which is why I can't catch him. I don't know where he's even going. I'm tired of chasing him. Yeah, and this maze does so much. I'm running out of health. Come on. The mace uh, penetrating the penetrating enemy armor, it does such a good job. And yeah, I can I can see this is lagging up pretty bad right now. Oh, that's where you guys were running to get nice positions on us. Oh no, that's a white run guard. How did I lose that guy? I don't know where he went. Oh, this lag is really bad. Yeah. 
Wow, I didn't think it would be this bad. It's not. I don't know, I might have to like cut the video and start over this. It's horrible. <laughs> 